My name is Curtis. I'm the pastor at First Baptist Church. Yes, Baptist. Yes. <laughs> 11 o'clock on Sundays. You're all welcome. Anytime. We're always there. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about um, protecting the children and a lot of that, uh, you know, what a family is, really. And so I thought I'd share this. It's really a, it's a children's song, but given our legislature. <laughs> He loves so much, and I hope that this number seeks in. I'm going to sing the chorus, and I invite you to join me whenever it comes up. So it goes like this. Love makes a family. So many ways that we can be. I want the whole wide world to see that love makes a family. I have a friend who was born in Mom adopted her when she was just two. They have fun together in the things that they do, cause their house is filled with love. Love makes a family, so many ways that we can be. I want the whole wide world to see that love makes a family. I have a friend who parents live apart. At first she was thinking it would break her heart. But after some time she could finally start to see two houses filled with love. Derek and I were sitting at home, I wrote down, what does faith mean? And my keywords were inclusion, acceptance, making room, equal treatment, there's room for everybody, Muslim, Mormon, spiritual. Those are the keywords that, that explained us. And so here's what I, I prepared. First of all, thank you for having us here. Um, let me express our gratitude, and I speak on behalf of my partner, Derek, and our co-plaintiffs, Laurie and Cody, and Kate and Karen, 
can say thank you. Thank you for accepting us, thank you for supporting us, and thank you for standing with us as we fight for our right to legally marry. Faith, to me, means community. And community is your immediate surrounding. And that evolves as you grow older and as you move to new places. It certainly has with us. I was raised in Lebanon, coming from a Muslim family, and Derek was raised in South Jordan, a fairly conservative and Mormon suburb. <laughs> At that point in our life, faith to us meant belief in those religions and the social acceptance that came with. We never knew anything else. We never really belonged to anybody else. But as we grew older and found ourselves and found our networks, our faiths evolved. And they evolved in a direction that led us to where we are standing today. From the day Derek and I met, we shared a common value, and that is the value of inclusiveness, and it lives in our daily life. For those who don't know, Derek and I operate a Middle Eastern food business in town. We produce and sell our spreads to local grocery stores, and we frequent the majority of the farmers' markets in Utah. We love what we do, and not just because we set our own hours, but because we get to build and be involved in the community that we love and the community that accepts us. Through our business and through our role as plaintiffs in Kitchen Be Her, we've held on to our belief of inclusiveness and approach every person with open arms, where there is room alongside us to collaborate and to experience. Faith to us today is making room for other people. It's treating our community members equally and working together for the betterment of all. Our faith is all of you here today that have given us the courage to be who we are, that has allowed us to accept who we are, and that has worked with us to achieve a better reality for our community. So in the spirit of making room, let's embrace our faith in each other and our community. Thank you. Thank you. 
beautiful Utah bliss of love elevated thanks to the amazing yeses we got from amazing people, from amazing community. It was a lot more work to get there than people know about. And if you have a program with you, you'll notice in the back here about Restore Our Humanity. And I'm going to make some clarifying points here, actually, as I read this. So, Restore Our Humanity is the sole entity responsible for paying for Kitchen v. Herbert. It's true. We've agreed to pay these bills. We're not the only ones in the community stepping up. In fact, two of our plaintiffs here, you just heard from them, Derek and Moody, have these really amazing hummus sexual t-shirts because they sell with these hummus. <laughs> They're a their company and it was a beautiful idea. It's one of the many ways people have stepped up to raise funds. Tonight, the offering um, is being donated through the Utah Pride Center to restore our humanity. And I ask you to be generous. Not for restore our humanity, not for our plaintiffs, not for the lawyers, but for the more than 1,200 couples that already got to be married, and for the thousands and thousands more that still deserve to experience that same joy and that same love. And so I go back to that beautiful lyric that and God will delight when we create, we are creators of justice and joy, compassion and peace. Yes, God will delight when we are creators of justice, justice and joy. So, as we pass the plates tonight, I ask that you be generous, not because we have bills to pay, which we do, but for the many, many thousands of people who have yet to experience the same joy that all of you saw back on December 20th, 2013, after so, so much work that came beforehand. So thank you.
and David Nichols. It is my privilege to serve Mount Tabor Lutheran Church as their pastor. Sisters and brothers, children of God, grace, mercy, and peace be with you all from God, our Creator, our Redeemer, and our Sustainer in daily life. Amen. Like you, I have just one burning question tonight. Why on earth is the Tenth Circuit Court taking so long? <laughs> You have suffered too long under the yoke of oppression. Yes. Amen. Amen. And justice, justice is such a slow train. Mm. <laughs> but the good news is, it's coming. <laughs> for too long, children have waited for this nation to recognize what they have known in their families forever. That love is love and marriage is marriage in every kind of family. For too long, children have waited for justice to come. Justice is a slow train. But the good news is, it's coming. God is good and justice is coming. Let justice roll down like water, said Tenth Circuit Court, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Because justice is a slow train, but the good news is what? It's coming. It's coming. Amen. Thank you. 